Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick. In this episode, I show you how to build a hungry chest and how to start with Golemancy, the automation mechanic in Thomcraft. Open your Thomonomicon to the Golemancy tab. Most of this will be dark from the start. You need to unlock hungry chest to get straw golems to unlock the rest of this. So, a hungry chest is similar to a vanilla chest, but when you drop items on top of it, they go right in the chest. This will help us automate our infernal furnace. We need some planks, a trap door with some ordo, perdicio, and air in our wand. Take our hungry chest and I'll place it right in front of my infernal furnace. Now instead of having to stand here, the items will go right in the chest and I won't forget to come back and get them and have my items despawn. Alright, so let's go chuck in some jungle wood to make some charcoal and you'll see how the hungry chest works. Yep, see, they go right in the chest. All right, nice. So, the automation mechanic in Thomcraft is called Golemancy. You build little golems and have them do things for you. The first golem you can build is a straw golem. So, when you unlock straw golems, you'll see we need to do al alchemy to build them. We're going to need a hay bale, which is a vanilla recipe of just nine wheat. We need some humanus, some modus, and some spiritus which I got from Rotten Flesh, Trap Doors, and Soul Sand. Alright, let's go make some golems. We need four each of those elements. I've got a file of each, so Spiritus, Modus, Humanus, and two hay bales will get us two straw golems. There we go. Alright, now by default, golems don't really do anything. You have to give them an animation core before they'll start working for you. So. The first thing we want to build is a Golemancer's Bell. We're going to need some Nether Quartz and a stick and some Ordo. This will get us the Golemancer's Bell, which you can see right next to Straw Golems. The Golemancer's Bell helps you give commands to Golems and pick them up. So if we place a Golem, we can see he can't do anything yet. He's not really alive. But to pick him back up, we'll need the Golemancer's Bell. Left click and pick him right up. So. We need to build an animation core to get him to do something. The animation core gives him a job. The first one you can build is the gather core. And before you can build any cores that are specific, you have to make some blank cores, which are made with bricks and niter with some ignis and ordo essentia in your wand. Let's go ahead and make a blank animation core. Bricks in the center and then niter. All right, scan that real quick. And now we need to make a specific core. So the gather core is made in a crucible with some lucrum and some terra. It's five each, so there's not a good way to balance this unless you want to make lots of gather cores. I'm just going to make one and let the other aspects drift off. So go over to our crucible, lucrum, terra. There we go, a golem animation core. All right, so now I can have him gather things for me. So let's say I drop something down. Let's place him on an inventory. So right click on this chest. He's now attached to it, which I can see if I right click him with the Gold Master's Bell. He's attached to this inventory. All right, let's give him an animation core. Right click and he has a core. You can see he lights right up. And anything I drop nearby, he will pick up and put in the chest for me. Perfect. If you want, you can have him do specific things by right clicking on him. So by default, you can give him six specific things that he will pick up, or if there's nothing in the inventory, he'll pick up everything around him. He operates in a range of about 16 blocks. All right, that's the basics of Golemancy, the Golemancer's Bell, and the Hungry Chest. See you next time.